when you were kind of starting out, did you have any goals or plans to say, you know, I want to hit, especially now that you, you've kind of gone into it full, full steam ahead, right? You've gone, this is, this is it kind of, this is going to be my earner. Did you have specific goals or a strategy? How did you approach that knowing that you didn't necessarily have something to fall back on either? So, so the, my two different things I'm thinking of right now, I, I wrote down at the beginning of this year that I wanted to hit 5,000 subscribers, but it was kind of, I didn't really take it seriously. I just thought I'm going to have it in the back of my mind. I'm going to aim towards something. And it was kind of, and I never want it to be about the numbers, although naturally, you know, I do, I do look at the stats. I'm not going to lie because it is fun. But I do, my main goal is to make sure that I'm helping people. Because if I just put a video out about me, it's, there's, no, there's no point. I just want to make sure whatever I do, it's helping somebody in some way. Whether it's just showing someone the product to say, yeah, this might work for you for something or, or whatever. But so although I set that goal of 5,000, it was more to do with... Um, I want to make sure that I put videos out each week. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because it's... if I had that goal of the numbers, I could go, right, if I'm going to reach those numbers, I've got to put vi – so it was like holding myself accountable by having that number, if that makes sense. Yeah, the consistency but... of putting the video out each week will exactly. be the subscribers, right? Yeah, and that, and that goes to your other point about what was the strategy. It was kind of – there was no strategy because I didn't, other than uploading every week. Um, the only things I thought of were, if I get an idea, write it down in my notes. Yep. And, and then just work through the notes, uh, work through each idea as I go along and make sure I get one out a week. Oh, I think it might have even been one a month at the time. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, so, but I had no idea what was going to stick. Um, and it's hard when you, when you first get going because you're getting like three or four views on you, you know, on your first couple of videos and that. Yeah. So you don't know what people like. So the strategy is kind of just do what you want to do to start yeah. with. Um, and then look at look at the numbers look at the stats see how many people are tuning into this that, and the other and yes lean towards that direction but also stay true to what you wanted to do yeah so i guess looking back you you're almost at the 5k mark right it's it's within touching distance it is yeah yes yeah. which is, which is awesome. bizarre yeah. bizarre totally <laughs> it's not bizarre. bizarre it's the result of hard work <laughs> thank you well yeah. <laughs> yes <laughs> see it's that consistency and this is where it gets you um so what was it like at the beginning so obviously you're right when you when you first start and you first put a few videos up one is how do you get those videos out there do you kind of leave it to the youtube algorithm and, and make sure you tag properly or do you do anything else and what does that feel like when you maybe are only getting a few views on your first few videos i think that where when there's only a few views on the videos, what I used to think about, well, and I forgot about this actually, what I used to think was, imagine if it was just my sort of close circle of friends watching, and if, it, if the number was even just one higher than that, I'd be happy. Okay. So it's kind of like, be, be happy with however many views you get, basically. So I was, yeah. I was genuinely so excited when I got one new subscriber and still am. I'm, I, I do make a conscious decision or effort to um, put that back on because I can't see. <laughs> um, a conscious effort to to make sure I'm try I'm being grateful for every person that subscribes and watches, and not to get sort of complacent um, or whatever the other word is for when yeah. your views are up and then it goes down. You know. Yeah. Because yeah. the growth is is not linear. It's like so up and down, and you got to be you got to try so hard not to um, get swept away when it's down. You just got to keep yeah. going and, and trust in in what you're doing. 
and um what was it like what was the other question what was it like when i first started yeah so i get i guess people have some people might have milestones so whether it's like the first 100 subscribers or the first thousand i mean is that growth was it was it for you fairly slow or did it actually come quite fast and and how did you yeah get your videos out there to get that growth um i think it, it was um when i think you mentioned something about it on a video that you did about because you're going for your 100 aren't you yes. and <laughs> and we'll we'll get you there i'm going to share i'm going to share your your stuff around so hopefully we'll make so it by, by the end of the week amazing um, and I keep, I'm terrible. I keep forgetting what. what. <laughs> That's okay. I'm so sorry. Everyone's probably switched off because of me. I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, no. This is great. Um, you, you're making me make sure I remember the questions. <laughs> so I need to be very focused. Um, what was the question? Yeah, sorry. It's because I keep asking you two questions at the same time. I apologize. Let me let me take it one at a time. So, <laughs> how did it feel, and what kind of milestones were there to begin with, like getting to? the first hundred and how long like how long did that take it took a while it took a while i mean I, I had a channel for a while because everybody signs up to youtube don't they and they have a, a channel but i didn't really put videos out consistently so it's hard to say when i reached that first hundred but i think what i did was and touching on what i said earlier i hate asking social media for anything i hate going i've got this can you follow me but that's what I did because I needed to get that 100 uh, things, uh, subscribers for the um, thing that you URL. mentioned. Yeah, the custom yeah. URL. <laughs> yeah. That's it. The elusive custom URL. Right. <laughs> Why do they do it? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so mine was a bizarre name that I had when I first, like, opened a youtube account lord knows why i yeah. chose that name <laughs> but yeah so I, I changed that i can't remember how long it took but it, it was a, it was a while and then um and then i think right you know what i'm just gonna aim for my first thousand and that was really my first proper milestone i think right. and then i just went for it. and i in, and i just think i thought it was so out of reach especially with the four thousand hours Yes. yes but you know the more you get the head your head down and get stuck into what you're doing the quicker it feels because you're so focused on what the work 